Vayetze Yaakov Miber Sheva. Yaakov is the paradigm of the each Israeli. We all have to emulate Yaakov. Yaakov leaves Be'er Sheva on a high. That was the spiritual center. The number Sheva indicates that he has achieved all seven midos. And now Yaakov is uplifted by this experience, but he gets to Charon. Vayele Charona. Charon is Charonaf. These are the challenges that man faces. And Yaakov is able to muster together all the energy that he needs to overcome these challenges. And at that point, Vayifka Bamokon, Yaakov realizes that HaKadosh Baruch Hu tested him in order to bring out the best in him. He had reached one level and now he can reach a high level. And this is a message for all of us that Yaakov has conceived and understood in his mind that when a person reaches that higher level, then he goes down in the sense, not really in a fila, it's only a challenge that God puts in his way so that he can overcome all these impediments and move higher up the scale. And then the Torah tells us, Vayishkav Bamoko. And the symbolism of Vayishkav is to take the Yesh, the first few letters, and then the Chaf Beis, which encompasses all the 22 letters in the Torah. And now Yaakov is able to inspire others. He meets the Anshi Kedem. These are the people who were once on a higher level. They fell, and he is able to uplift these people. And now he's ready to put the Avnei Amokom, which combine all the Yud Beish Fat and the 12 stones that become one. This energizes Yaakov. And then he takes his feet and he moves on. He sees in his dream the ladder of going up and going down. And now he's ready to lift up a stone from the Be'er, a stone that humanly is impossible to lift. But this is because Yaakov is inspired. We should all be inspired. We should all realize that we reach a higher level then God tests us, and it's not an afila, chas shalom. It's only God's way of pushing us to elevate ourselves even higher and higher. You wrote something, you do that. We can all face those challenges and understand that this is all part of a divine plan. And Yaakov goes on in this parsha to meet the two imams and marry Rachel Valeo. May we be inspired to reach higher and higher levels. And we'll be able to find powers within us to lift off a heavy stone. That's impossible. With that inspiration, we'll achieve greatness in our Vodas Hashem and his Karvus Lamokim Kedi Ratzon. Amen. Wishing everyone a Shavuot Tov. Great weekend. Thank you so much.